Hey everybody, Mr. Barry here again. Uh, we're talking about multi-step equations in Algebra 1. I have an equation here, 12 minus 10x plus 5x is equal to negative 18. Um, you know, when we started off doing two-step equations, there were two terms on one side, one term on another side. Here I have three terms on the left side of this equation. Um, so I want to try to combine like terms as much as possible um, prior to getting to a two-step equation. Let's just simplify things for me. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. I have 12 minus 10x plus 5x. And if you might notice here, we have two terms. Uh, we have a negative 10x and we have a positive 5x on the same exact side with one another. Um, so because I have those two terms there on that side, I'm going to do the process of combining like terms. When I combine like terms, I'm not taking this right here and moving it to the other side of the equation. It's still going to be on the left side. So because it's going to be on the left side, I'm doing exactly what it is it's telling me to do. No inverse operation here. Do it exactly the way it's telling me to do. So i got to take a look, and I'm going to do 12, or excuse me, I'm going to do minus 10x plus 5x. So minus 10x plus 5x, negative 10 plus 5 would be negative 5x. So that was me combining these two terms right here, negative 10x plus 5x, doing exactly what it is that the problem told me to do. Uh, and the rest of the problem's just going to drop down. So I haven't touched the 12 yet, haven't touched the negative 18 yet. And when it comes to the step that I just achieved, remember that was me doing combining like terms. We'll go ahead and abbreviate it CLT for short, combining like terms. Now this looks like a two-step equation like we've done before in the past. All right, this is a scenario where I have a constant in a uh, variable on one side. Again, remember my ultimate goal is to isolate that variable when solving equations. So I want to take whatever constant I have to the other side. And here it's a 12. Now, it, there's no plus or minus sign in front of it. Um, so we go ahead and assume that it is a positive 12, which means I got to subtract 12 to both sides in order to get rid of that positive 12 up there. Subtract 12 to both sides. 12 minus 12 gives me 0, which is fantastic because that now gives me the term of the variable all by itself on the left side. On the right side, I have negative 18 minus 12. That's 18 negatives and 12 more negatives, which would make a total of 30 negatives. And in that step, uh, we used uh, the subtraction property of equality. So we'll make a quick note of that over here. Subtraction property of equality. We subtracted 12 to both sides. Uh, we're going to wrap this problem up. I got negative 5x is equal to negative 30. And then negative 5 is smushed together. It's right next to the x, which means multiplication. So that means to do the inverse operation and get the variable completely by itself. we got to divide. Um, so the inverse of multiplying by negative 5 would be to divide by negative 5. I'll do it to both sides of the equation to keep everything balanced. And I get x is equal to positive 6. Negative 30 divided by negative 5 would be positive 6. Um, do just quickly understand negative 5 divided by negative 5 gives me 1. Remember when we multiply or divide um, property of equality, we want to get a 1 understood in front of that variable there, a positive 1. So we got x is equal to 6. We just did the division property of equality. And just as a quick reminder, remember it all started off by combining like terms. That got us to the spot where we could do a two-step equation and solve the problem.